Hi, this is Jay from Tilta. Today we're gonna to be doing the quick start guide to the newest edition of the Armor Man line, the Armor Man 3.0. Let's take a look at what's inside the case. So first, we have the support vest. Next, we have our waist support belt with our pads. Then we have the baby pin support vest dock, the universal gimbal ring adapters, two arms, a right and a left, the overhead configuration cable pulleys, we have our gimbal ring clamps for our standard configuration and our overhead configuration, our overhead configuration locking pins, and our overhead configuration attachment. Now let's go into how to assemble the standard configuration of your Armor Man 3 vest. The first step to assembling either configuration is mounting our baby pin support vest dock. This mounts onto any standard baby pin like this C-stand. Tighten it down with this screw on the back, making sure it's completely snug. Next, we'll take our support vest and mount it to our dock. It should slide right on. And then make sure you lock it in with this pin by twisting it, and it will pop into place. Now it's locked onto the dock. The next step is taking our waist support belt arms and adjusting them into their proper position. Loosen each of them using these screws. Once they're loose, you should be able to rotate them into position and then lock them back down. You'll want to lower the pins on both sides, making sure they're in a comfortable starting position to find the best fit. Again, same thing for this side. We'll loosen this screw. We'll rotate it downwards and into position, and then we'll tighten it back down. So once your waist support belt arms are in their proper position, you can take these buckles here, and they buckle right into the waist support belt arm. Make sure we do both sides. So the next step is we're gonna grab our waist support belt. You wanna make sure that both of these clasps on both sides of the waist support belt are in the unlock position. You slide this hook inside, almost like a seat belt, and slide this to the locked position. Then we'll go ahead and repeat that for the other side. Once it's in, slide it to the locked position. And the next step is taking our waist support belt pads and attaching them to the Velcro. So you have your back pad and you have your two side pads. I find it easiest to do the back pad first. So you're just gonna stick it into a place with the wide side near the top and then go ahead and attach each side. Go ahead and take that and do the other side. Clasp the waist belt, tighten the Velcro. All right, let's go ahead and put on our arms. So we have a right arm and a left arm. Let's take our right arm first. As you can see, there's a hole right here with a locking pin. The pin on the arm slides right into that hole. Once your arm's locked in, you can take it and rest it on the arm holster on the waist support belt. Next, we're gonna take our left arm, lock it in. Go ahead and holster our arm. The next step is to take our universal gimbal ring adapters. So there's a right and a left side. As you can see, there's an R and an L. We'll take this quick release and we'll slide it into the forearm of the vest. We'll take this screw on the front and go ahead and tighten it down. And now it's locked in. Repeat that for the other side. Should slide into place and go ahead and tighten it down. Once we have both sides of our gimbal ring adapters attached, we have our fully built standard configuration of our Armor Man 3 vest. Next, we're gonna show you how to mount it to your gimbal. Here we have a fully built Ronin. We're gonna take our clamps. So because we're using a Ronin, we're gonna go ahead and take these bushings out. We'll open this up, and these should just slide out. If you were using a Movi Pro, you would want these in. We wanna have the pin facing outwards from the gimbal. Close it up. Once you have one side mounted snugly, you're gonna go ahead and take your other ring. So no bushings. We'll take that, clamp it down. Again, we want the pin to face outside. You wanna make sure that both of the sides are pretty even on your ring or else you're gonna get a little off balance once you have the weight on the armor man. So now that we have both of our gimbal clamps installed, we're gonna go ahead and put on the vest. The first thing you wanna do, especially if you're by yourself, is go back to your locking pin back here, and push it in and give it a turn, 
and that'll unlock the vest from the dock. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is take your arms, unholster them from the holsters and drape them down at the sides of the vest. Again, if you have someone else to help you, it makes all of this a lot easier, but it is possible to do by yourself. The next step, we'll undo our waist strap, we'll undo our chest strap, and then we'll loosen our shoulder straps. We're gonna put it on like a backpack. I start with my waist belt. Use the Velcro, pull on both sides, make sure it's nice and tight. I take my chest strap and I buckle it. We're gonna grab our two shoulder straps and we're gonna pull them tight. Then you're gonna take your arms, bring them back up, put them on the holsters. Now you're ready to lift off of your dock. So you're just gonna lift up, should come right off. If it seems to be floating above your shoulders or you don't have enough room and it might be sitting a little high on your hips, there is an adjustment on the back here. There's a lever and if you lift that up, you can actually extend the back. Now we're gonna go ahead and pick up our gimbal. First step, take the gimbal ring adapters in your hands, place your thumb on each of these locking pins. The next step is to unholster the arms like this, drop them straight down at your sides and then we're gonna lift our arms straight up and over our heads keeping our elbows to the inside. Up and over our heads, you'll hear a click, and then we have tension on the arms. So once we have tension, we're gonna take, make sure our thumbs are on those pins. We're gonna take our arms and scoop under each of those pins that we installed earlier. Once we have them locked in, we're gonna go ahead and lift up the weight. And you should feel that a lot of the weight is transferred off of your arms, and it's basically floating free. So now the Armor Man has the weight of the gimbal and there's a few adjustments that you're gonna need to do to get everything balanced. There's a tension adjuster here. There's a knob right here on the forearm and another one on the back of the arm. For heavier cameras, you're gonna want more tension. For lighter cameras, you'll want less tension. When you have it balanced properly, you should be able to let go of the camera and it kind of just holds it for you. So after you have everything adjusted, you're ready to take the camera off. Go ahead and set it down. Remember those locking pins? We'll pull down on our arms while pushing in those locking pins and pull them away from the pins. So now the tension is still on the arms and you're gonna have to release it. So in order to release the tension on the arms, you're gonna need to pull these pins that are here on the shoulders. So in order to do that by yourself, if you have someone else with you, obviously they can pull these tabs for you. But in order to do that by yourself, I reach down and I pull the tab for the opposite side. While I pull it, you want to release the tension, so lift up a bit on the arm, pull down on the tab, and it should drop right down. You can go ahead and reholster the arm. After that's done, you have a free arm. It makes doing this one really easy. You just go ahead and lift up, let go of the tension, pull down, you should let go of the tension, and then you reholster it. After all that's said and done, when you take off the vest, you can take it off like a backpack. You just undo your chest strap, undo your waist belt, and then loosen these shoulder straps and you should be able to take it off just like a backpack and put it back on your dock. So the next thing we're gonna go through is how to assemble the overhead configuration of your Armour Man 3. So now we're gonna set up our overhead configuration. We're gonna mount our overhead attachment here. On the back of the vest on the top, you'll see two slots. That's where we're gonna slide in our overhead attachment. Go ahead and slide that down into there. And then these two pins will slide into these holes on the back of the vest. You can adjust your height. Once you find a good height, we'll go ahead and lock it in using these two screws on the arms and then these two screws on the side. So in order to mount the arms in the overhead configuration, push in, pull out on the arms. Again, this button right here, we're gonna push that in while we pull out with the arm. So the first thing we're gonna have to swap out on our arms, we're gonna have to take these universal gimbal ring adapters and swap them for our cable pulleys. We're gonna loosen it up, and then this quick release should slide right out. Again, loosening the screw in the front, and sliding them out, and then we'll take our cable pulleys. We wanna make sure that the pulley is towards the inside of the arm when we slide it in the quick release. Once it slides in, the pulley's to the inside of the arm, we'll go ahead and lock it down. It's the same quick release, we'll just slide it into place making sure that the pulley is towards the inside of the arm. 
The carabiner on the end of our cable pulley will attach to these rings on each arm. Go ahead and pull that. Clip it into place. Then we'll do the same thing with our other arm. So the last thing we're gonna do with each arm, we're gonna flip them over. And on each of the hinges here, we have a lock. And it should click into place. And then we'll do the same with each of our other hinges. Now you'll see the arm's locked in place and the hinges won't move. So we'll go to our next arm. And do the same thing. Fully seats into place. Make sure everything's locked. And now we're ready to mount our arm. Let's take our right arm. So there's two holes in this overhead attachment. One of them has a locking pin and one of them is an empty hole. The one with the locking pin is where you're gonna be seating the arm. So we wanna take the pin of our arm and seat it into that hole. And it should lock into place. And as you can see, the arm still swings. So we'll take our locking pin. We'll go ahead and slide it through the overhead attachment and through the arm and comes out the other side. And place it on the outside and then your arm should be locked in place. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Again, the back hole is for the arm and the front hole is for the locking pin. So we'll grab our other arm here, take the pin, until it clicks, take your pin from the inside out. We'll take our nut, tighten it down. And the final step is to install our gimbal ring adapter clamps for our overhead configuration to our gimbal. Again, we're gonna take our inserts out because this is a Ronin. If it was a Movi, uh, these inserts would be more useful. So because it's gonna hang from these straps, we're gonna to wanna to put them more near the top so that it can hang down. We wanna to go towards the top of the ring, then we'll do the same thing for the other side. You wanna make sure it's in a similar spot on the ring to the other side. Now that we have our clamps installed, we'll move our Ronin out of the way. So we'll undo our chest strap, undo our waist strap, Loosen those shoulder straps. We can put our arms in. Always remember, if you're by yourself especially, is unlock the vest from the dock. We push it in, turn it, and now the vest is actually unlocked from the dock and we're ready to put on our vest. So put your arms through like a backpack. Buckle it in the front and pull the Velcro to tighten. And then pull down our shoulder straps. You want to make sure it sits nicely down on your shoulders. Everything feels snug on your hips. And then once everything's good and comfortable, we'll go ahead and lift off our dock. Come off of our dock. Onto the gimbal clamp. We'll take the carabiner on the other side. Do the same thing, clip it in. Go ahead and lift off the table. So this is our overslung position. Gives you the ability to get a lot higher. You're also still able to get low, and it gets rid of a lot of those Y-axis jitters. In the overhead configuration, you'll want more tension on the back of the arm, which will adjust with these knobs here, just like we would have in the other configuration. And then once you're ready to set it down, we'll lean forward, set the camera on the table, let the arms go carefully, and then to take off your vest, you're gonna undo your chest strap, undo your waist strap, then loosen your shoulder straps so you can take it off like a backpack. I'm Jay, this has been the Quick Start Guide for the Tilta Armor Man 3. Thanks for watching.